One question that I get asked, and to be honest, even I can't figure it out. Why is Vancouver real estate inventory currently so low? I'm going to give you my explanation. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I am a mortgage broker located in Vancouver. If you want to learn ways to be approved for mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the vacation bell so you won't miss anything. One question I get asked is, why is Vancouver real estate inventory so low? If we look at simple economics, as prices go up, supply should also go up as well. Why? Well, because you're going to see your neighbor listing and selling their place for over asking and you'll be like, what? Someone played that much for that house? Well, mine is obviously better and I'll for sure get more for it. I'm going to list and sell and make a good chunk of money. But instead, we've been seeing prices going up, but supply remains the same or reducing. This has been something that has really bothered me and I couldn't really figure it out. It goes against the law of supply and demand. So after speaking to different realtors and hearing what people are saying, the one thing I always hear is, okay, well, what if I sold my place at record price? Then what? The thing is, if you're able to sell at record prices, most likely you're going to buy at record prices as well. You may consider moving out further away from the city, but the further you are away, the more competition and bids because of the lower price points. Another factor causing low inventory is, well, the lack of inventory. Here's what's happening. Say a group of 10 buyers. Some of them are first time home buyers, some are investors, and some of them are people looking to buy and then sell their place. They definitely don't want to sell their place yet because they don't want to be in a situation where they're homeless. So they need to secure a place first and then list their place up for sale. The problem is they're not winning the bid due to low inventory and because there are many buyers. Whenever there's something decent that comes into market, they're up against say 10 other buyers who want it. So pretend all these 10 buyers own a place. One of the 10 win and, and then they list their home up for sale. The remaining nine buyers still need to find a place before they can list. And as this cycle continues, less and less inventory comes into the market. Now, I understand this is quite frustrating and honestly, I don't know what solutions are available. We're seeing pre-sales very hot again because they're injecting new inventory, although not built yet into the market. Policies that would encourage supply like faster permit turnarounds should help with the solution. But one thing for sure, as long as inventory and mortgage rates stay low, prices will continue to increase in the near future. And there you go. We just went over why Vancouver real estate inventory is so low. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more and make sure you click on the notification bell so you won't miss the video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Rise Mortgage. We're always achieving your approval.